Yeah, what's good? Fucking to answer your question, it's fucking amazing. It's an amazing game. And I have a lot to say, alright? I'm not a fucking professional reviewer or journalist or whatever the fuck. I'm just a fan and an ex-pro of the COD series. All I want to do is give my input and point of view on this game. And you know what? It probably won't even... No one, no one even cares, right? But it's like, I just want to do it for the fuck of it. So I'm going to do it. Uh, now, I just I just do, I do want to touch on... Sledgehammer and the development teams. Because people are saying Sledgehammer is the weakest of the three. And now, to some extent, that may be true. But in my eyes, they're not. In my eyes, they made Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. That was the only current gen Call of Duty with jetpacks that I could rock with. Just because there was no wall running, alright? Now wall running changed the game a lot. And it just changed the whole verticality and everything. Sure it's fun as fuck. It's really fun. It's really cool. But, I don't know, it changed the how you thought about Call of Duty and how you played of course, obviously. I mean that's, that's a no brainer. But, it really did and I just think that wasn't, I don't know. I, that's just not Call of Duty to me. This is Call of Duty. This fucking, not trench warfare, but almost, it's just like, it's, you gotta think. And in the other Call of Duties you have to think too, but this is just a whole different thing. Like a different game. And it really, really makes me happy to be back in this era, especially. I'm a big fan of World War II. Like, it's kinda weird, but I have been since I was like seven years old. Seven or eight years old. And, I mean, even in high school when I got the chance to do extra credit projects, things like that, that I got to choose, I would take days out of my time to even study up on certain even battles and locations of the of war, of World War II, basically. So, it's just, it, ha it holds a really special place in my heart just because I do love the era. I even like, you know, I like the 20s, 30s, and 40s, I mean... I, I've known people that talk about it and everything like that, of course, older people and everything like that. My grandma, I'm one of them. But it just sounds like if I if I got to choose to live in a you know certain time in America, it would probably be like the 20s or the 60s or maybe even the 40s. I mean, during the war, yes, the Great Depression, all that, but I just like that, I don't know, just that era seems different. I don't know. I'm weird, but whatever. But what I wanted to touch on though with the dev team and all that and Sledgehammer, people think it's the weakest dev team. I don't think it's the weakest one. They made AW and they made it fucking solid. Now, it was good for competitive. All the maps, in my opinion, in my eyes, they were fucking great. There was good gun balance, there was good hit registration on the guns, and when you would shoot people... It, it just, it made sense. Everything in that game made sense, and... It was fun, and I think it, why I like it the best, I mean, I, why I like it the best, but why I think it's the best of these current ones is there's no wall running. And I mean, IW got a bunch of hate for whatever reason it got hate. I don't think it was a horrible game. It was bad. It was probably the worst Call of Duty we've gotten, but it wasn't fucking trash. I can't, I can't actually say it was trash. That's just like, I don't know. That's just not... I can't say it was, it wasn't, it wasn't a garbage game. It, sure, it was exactly the same as Black Ops 3, but not as fucking quality. But it wasn't, that doesn't mean it's trash, that's just childish. So, to say that. But, um, anyway, it's just, I think, you know, I think they're gonna be, I don't know, I think, I think they know what they're doing, okay? And I'm gonna get into that, but like, just, Okay, you have to understand this. Sledgehammer, the reason I think it's the strongest too is because there's a lot of guys from Infinity Ward, a lot of talent, that actually went onto the Sledgehammer team. So that means the guys that brought you, you know, the for no making the Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3 series, the Modern Warfare series, those were some of the best games, in my opinion, of all time. Now, you could argue Black Ops 2 was as well. It was a fan favorite. It was an amazing game. It was all around amazing. It was good for competitive, MLG, it was good for casual players, it was good for people who like zombies, it was good for people who wanted to play the campaign, it had like those, you can go to point A, you can like choose path A or path B, it, it brought a lot of new shit but it did it fucking well and that's why I think that's a staple in the competitive scene and in just the casual COD scene that Black Ops 2 is a staple. Now that's why I feel like this will be from now on, World War 2. I think Sledgehammer right here is making a staple. Just because we haven't seen a next-gen Call of Duty uh, that's boots on the ground. 
I mean, you could argue that Ghost was the next gen COD, but it was it was kind of in the it was dropped when people were still on the 360 before the Xbox One came out and PS4 and all that. So I don't know. It, that was like a that was like a mixed gen COD. It wasn't really a truly like next gen. This is technically a next gen Call of Duty, and I just feel like it's. It's just, it's gonna, it's gonna be a doozy. Like, it's gonna be good. I, I mean, I'm playing it right now. You can fucking see it on the screen. I'm using a Type 100. Amazing gun. I feel like that's gonna do really well. Uh, I think competitively, people might pick this one up a lot more. If the MP40, we'll just have to see. We don't know much now, but the MP40 could be pretty viable, though. And, uh, the MP40's always been a really good gun to use in a World War II shooting game. So, we're gonna, we're just gonna have to see how it the rate of fire and how it shoots and the accuracy and how good it is but just to wrap up everything like just wrap up all the sledgehammer and the developing talk so sledgehammer is making this one that's why i have you know i'm fully i'm fully on board with them i fully support their decision to go back i think they know what they're doing uh, a lot of people argue they didn't do shit they don't know what they're talking about the historical accuracy is just whack that's not even the case. There's tons of videos. I challenge you. There's tons of fucking videos. You can go find them anywhere. Basically almost like dev commentaries and stuff like that. But they show you how they picked up some of the audio um, sources they have for the weapons and for things like that. The certain machinery, the planes, the tanks, all that kind of shit. They show you that they really actually went and tried to get the most accurate thing. And you got it at the end of the day, it's Call of Duty. It's not fucking, you know, World War II simulator. You, you guys gotta chill. I've seen people in the comments, I know it's a horrible, like, you know, there's a horrible way to, like, explain it. <clears throat> Excuse me, but, like, just the people in the comment section, it's, there's always, it's always fucking, you know, it's a cesspool of just fucking cancer, right? But the people that claim that they're fans are, it's almost like, they don't have anything to talk shit about. Now that it is boots on the ground, now that it does look like a solid, standard, fucking conventional Call of Duty game, th there's always going to be something to bitch about. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to say. There's always going to be somebody bitching about something that is in one of these Call of Duty games. So that's just how it's going to be. A lot of people are really going crazy on the, the racial and sexist kind of things where it's not racial and it's not sexist because Sledgehammer has included women. And, you know, African Americans, as far-fetched and odd that might sound to see a fucking African American woman that has a Nazi uniform on, you know, that may be a little stretch, but there has been reports, like I said, I've been a f not a fan, well, basically, I've loved w the whole thing, the whole whatever of World War II since I was little, and I've, I've studied up on it, I really enjoy learning about it. And there has been reports, especially towards the end of the war, where they did use anything they could because the Germans were getting desperate. Now, a lot of people just can't even believe that. Some people don't even think the Holocaust happened. That's a whole nother fucking story. But if you believe that, like, I've talked to people who don't even they say that just hasn't happened. So, whatever. People are people. But at the end of the day, this is a Call of Duty. And it's a fucking damn good one at that. And it's not... It's not gonna be a simulator. I don't know what people want. People are comparing it to Battlefield. It's like, why? That was World War One. I. I know it's the kind of same time zone, same early 90s, but like, it's not even the same war. How can you, how can you fucking compare two different wars? It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. I don't know. You people, y'all are tripping. You really are. But the people that are tripping the most is what I can't believe in the comments on some of these videos is people are saying this looks terrible, like, I guess visually, but they nitpick about things. Like, like I'm, I know I'm going everywhere with this, but I just can't believe it. They nitpick about the smallest things, and I, I just can't fucking believe it. I really can't believe that people are saying, like, Oh, the sound, uh, you know, the ping on the M1 Garand, it, uh, uh, duh, duh, uh, You know what I mean? I don't know. I can go on and on about all this, but I'm not trying to get any of that bullshit. I've been talking about it for, like, nine minutes already. You know, I'm not even trying to, like, continue talking about that shit. Because that's just, like, a bunch of dumb shit. I mean, if you like Call of Duty, you're gonna fucking love this Call of Duty. The whole point of the video was to tell you more about just my, my, you know, my person-to-person, non-professional fucking opinion on this game. And this game, for me, is doing it. 
Now, there's a lot that has been unanswered. There's a lot we don't know. But so far, it looks fucking, it's really good. And I'm definitely supporting it because I think Sledgehammer have gone the extra mile as far as a COD development team can. Because, you know, they have unlimited fucking, you know, funds to make a Call of Duty game. But it's going to be a Call of Duty game. There are limits Activision is going to put on the developers. If they, they're, you know, they have them by the balls. People don't want to think that's the truth, but when you, when you're with, a, when you're with a uh, publishing company like Activision or EA Games, the, they're really gonna hold their devs by the fucking balls and say this, that, the other thing. This is gonna work. This isn't gonna work. So I don't know. And a lot, of, a lot of the bullshit, you know, the dev teams like Treyarch, those companies, they could have put in by themselves too and agreed with. But all I'm saying is. You're gonna get a Call of Duty. It's not gonna be a simulation. It's not gonna be like that. So get that out of your fucking head. There's people like that were making me piss. Like, they really were. They were expecting, like, I don't know what they expected. So, whatever. As you can see, that gameplay was just the Type 100. Amazing submachine gun. Like I said, I think it'll probably get picked up competitively. It might not, depending on what other subs there are in the game. But that's a very good submachine gun. But I wanted to say, yeah, just the general mechanics of this game, amazing. Uh, when you shoot people, like you can put you can put three or four shots to the chest in somebody from a submachine gun, and it will consistently kill them. There is no bullshit like in Black Ops 3. If you're jumping around with a VMP, and he, someone some dude jokes you, and it's because of the game, it's not because of your skill. It's actually the game itself that jokes you. When you shoot this guy, get nine hit markers. Like you hear that fucking sound. You keep getting them hit markers. He turns around, he whips around, kills you in like three or four bullets with the VMP just because he hops over your head, you know, in the air with the jetpack. Now, that's like, you can blame that on the game to a certain extent. So, I don't know. There's no, there's no fucking, there's no bullshit in this game. There really is no fucking bullshit. It, you, you get, you know, you, you get what you get. And that's like a very consistent, very conventional Call of Duty. Now, whatever. This, had, this video so far has been a fucking mess. I haven't even talked about what I want to talk about, but that's it for now. Fuck it. Hope you guys enjoyed.